Well, hello everyone and welcome to today's exclusive presentation. We're stepping out of the norm here for Technology Tuesday and it's a Technology Thursday, if you will. I'm really excited to welcome um, some new friends of ours who we've been working with for several months, attending a couple events together. And um, I just wanted to introduce this new partnership that we have with Keep. Now, um, I'm gonna let Michael kind of dive into what Keep is. But first, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Jennifer. I'll be your moderator today. If you have any questions as Michael goes along, you can chat those over and we'll make sure to address the uh, questions and interests that you have um, about Keep. A little bit about us here at Out of the Box Technology, if you're unfamiliar with our organization. We are a full team of QuickBooks consultants and experts that do training, integration, hosting, and support surrounding all versions and editions of QuickBooks. We also do bookkeeping services, website design, custom app development, and more. So at this time, I'm gonna hand things over to Michael over at Keep, and he's gonna dive into what Keep is and how we're kind of collaborating between our two companies. So Michael, take it away. Awesome, thanks so much, Jennifer. Um, I'm probably gonna steal the screen from you uh, as well, if that's allowed. Of course, um, did that come through to you? Did, did I pick the right one? Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't see it quite yet. There we go. Now okay, I got great. it. You've given me the power. Perfect. Uh, all right. So yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about Keep today, but Keep is kind of this technology company name that doesn't mean much to a lot of you that are joining us today. So um, I obviously want to uh, articulate um, what it is that Keep does, uh, how we help small businesses and service providers grow and automate um, their marketing efforts. Um, and I think that uh, a little bit of background about who I am and what I do um, is, is kind of helpful to the story as well. So let me start there. So my title um, is the technical partner manager here at Keep. I work with um, folks who use our software uh, at a really high level, um, and uh, basically they're digital marketing nerds. <laughs> um, so they need to uh, not only organize their contacts into different databases, but they need to follow up with those contacts um, and hopefully automate some of their processes as well. So as you, as, as you um, watch today's webinar, you'll see I'm gonna walk through a handful of really helpful examples that translate across different uh, businesses, um, and we're going to have a, a focus on service providers today um, as, we, as we walk through it. So let's talk a little bit uh, about a day in the life of a service provider. Well, there's I know this. There's lots of different things that you all do, right? Um, the whole concept of wearing lots of hats. Um, whether you're in the field or in an office or driving to the next job, you are constantly doing some of these things. Um, and if it's not you, somebody, somebody on your team is, right? We're meeting new contacts, um, and hopefully uh, you have the mindset where every time you meet a new contact, we're considering them a, a prospect or a lead, or maybe they, they, they know contacts or leads that they can refer, right? Um, you're scheduling your next appointment. Sometimes that needs to happen while you're at your current appointment, which uh, I know is painful um, as well, right? Uh, we have to answer FAQs about our pricing and services. And then of course, a really important one um, is getting paid. And believe it or not, a lot of service providers struggle with that um, because it's just another thing that has to be done that takes time. And at the end of the day, um, there's a, a lot of us are solopreneurs or we work in small businesses. Um, we just don't have the time to what I think to do what I think is the most important thing for a business, which is to actually um, get paid for, for our craft, right? So if we look at these bullet points and we start at the top, we're not only are we the lead development and sales uh, rep for our company, not only are we the, the, the secretary, not only are we the customer service rep uh, of our business, uh, but we're also uh, the CFO, right? <laughs> We're the chief financial officer that needs to make sure everything is happening. And so I understand that there's a lot to, to be done 
um, throughout each day um, as you do what you do. Um, and you know what I haven't met, mentioned yet, <laughs> which is funny? You have to actually do the job, right? So whether you're a plumber or an electrician um, or whatever the service is that you provide, right? Uh, you have to spend the time actually doing the job um, and doing it well so that people want to not only pay you for this job, but pay you again in repeat business and hopefully would, would be willing to refer you um, to the next job as well, right? So there's a lot to be done um, and I feel that. So here's, here's the great part about what, what we do. Um, and human error is not the great part about what we do. Um, but we help avoid human error, right? With all of these different tasks um, that need to be accomplished throughout the day, unfortunately, um, human error creeps in to the scope of what we do. So whether that's forgetting to follow up with a lead uh, or, oh shoot, I didn't set that appointment that I needed to for the next job that I'm supposed to do. Um, these types of things really crash into and affect our bottom line um, month over month and, and year over year, right? So at Keep, our goal is to help you eliminate that human error. And we've actually developed not only a software to help build out and automate your processes, but we've, we've, we've also built out over years of working with small businesses, a strategy, a process um, to help you identify where the biggest holes in your business may be. So let's talk a little bit about the three business enemies of, of growth. Um, and as I'm going through this, uh, feel free to chat in uh, if, you, if one of these resonates with you more, more than the others. Um, I know that the, the, some of this might be a little bit of painful for some of you out there. So the first box, disorganized chaos, lost leads, right? This is, this is hey, I just met this person, but I can't remember their name. Um, and I lost the business card that was handed to me. Um, and that was somebody that I potentially could have done business with. This is a very, very common side effect of uh, having disorganized chaos. Lack of follow-up. This is a pain point that a lot of us see which is I have a stack of business cards, but they're sitting under my bed, right? <laughs> or I have a handwritten notepad in my, in my truck and I haven't followed up with anyone uh, whose name and number I've jotted down over the last couple of weeks who, who potentially could be leads um, that, that I could close. And then of course, leads slipping through the cracks. This might be somebody who's reached out to you um, and wants to set an appointment or um, or has left you a voicemail and we never followed up appropriately as well. So again, there's lost businesses there. So although these are very painful and real um, elements of business, uh, what I encourage you to, to, to do is spin this on his head and say, these are all opportunities. If I could just get a little bit more organized, if I could just follow up in the most basic ways to the people that raise their hand to me and say, yes, I'm interested in what you do. And of course, if I can plug the holes of the lead slipping through the cracks uh, for clients who maybe didn't get an answer as quickly as they deserved or we didn't follow up with them quickly enough, um, we can avoid the, the, lost, the lost client's pain point as well. So if any of these resonated with you, you are in the right place. And I'm going to actually show you um, after we go through some of the strategy, some campaigns that can help you um, solve some of those pains as well. But first, let's talk about the ABCs of small business growth. So this is this is Keep has, like I said, Keep has developed a strategy to help you com combat those pain points. And this is really a progression path of how most businesses interact with contacts. You can see we have the unknown circle on the left side. These are the people. These are people or contacts that are out in the ether. And what we need to do is we need to engage them and add and organize those contacts to a database. So in that first column, I want you to start to ask yourself, right now, are my contacts organized? Do I know 
not only basic contact details, names, phone numbers, emails, etc., but do I know things about my contacts? Things like how much money they've spent with me, how much money they owe me, um, what is their what, what is their level of interest uh, in doing business? Right, segmentation is a huge part of database management and of running a successful small business. Once they become organized, they become contacts in our database. And it's our job as a business, as we move now to the center column, to follow up with our contacts to test their interests, right? Um, and hopefully convert them through follow-up. So let's, let's think about what are the conversations in this middle, com, uh, mil, middle column, broadcast and follow-up, what are the conversations that I should be having with my current contacts that maybe I can't scale right now because we just don't have the resources or the man hours. Well, maybe if we had a system to do that, they could follow up with our contacts for us. And then of course, those that raise their hand become leads. And now it, we have the opportunity to say, hey, I have a lead that is interested in opportunity. What can we do to help convert this warm lead into a client, right? So this is a very valuable mindset um, graphic that we have here to say, how many people uh, do I have that I have that are organized that need to be followed up with? And how many people who that I follow up with um, have identified themselves as somebody who's a warm lead that could potentially become a client, right? And if the answer right now is, I don't know, again, you are in the right place. We are gonna show you a tool here in just a second that can help you with each of these stages of small business growth. So let's talk about the first stage quickly. That's, this is the add, the ABs of the ABCs. This is the add and organize contact stage. Uh, in this stage, there's lots of different things that we do. I'm gonna show you some examples here of landing pages and smart forms in just a second. That's a great way to gather data and organize contacts inside of your database. Um, tagging is a tool that we use to add people to lists so that we can have the right conversation with the right person at the right time. So a big part of our system is organizing your contacts so that we have historical and demographic information associated to your contact list so that we can use that in the conversations that we're having to have a more specific targeted conversation. In the broadcast and follow-up stage, we obviously want to be able to send emails. You'll see some small images here. We'll hop into some campaigns in just a, a, a bit. I feel as though this is a, a huge strength of Keep. Um, we have the ability to build out automated dynamic conversations. Um, and the visual builder is, is the image you see on the left side there, uh, is a really cool tool to help us do that and build out different conversations but we also have the ability to send one email to a list of people. We call that a broadcast. That's a very valuable marketing tool, whether you're sending a newsletter or you need to send out um, some information to, to a group of people, a broadcast is something that, that Keep does very, very well. And new, newly formed is we actually have a messaging center, which I'll talk about a bit more, but you can actually send SMS text messages um, to your contacts if you have their phone number in the database and you can manage those text messages from a business line inside of keep as well so i'll show you that as well and then the final stage of the abcs is the c stage we now have the ability to convert leads to clients in a lot of different ways a very popular way is to set an appointment or a consult get them on the phone uh, it's, a, it's a strategy as old as time uh, if we can talk to them we can close them Keep helps you set more appointments in an automated way um, so that you don't have to spend your time going back and forth with a client saying, hey, what time are you available to meet? That's a very painful process <laughs> to go back and forth to choose what time on your calendar works best for both of you. We also have a sales pipeline functionality, which I'll click through as we get into the software. And then, of course, the ability to actually send an invoice and or a quote and have somebody accept that and pay you and the money goes straight into your merchant account and bank is a very important thing that Keep does to help small businesses convert. So I feel like I've spent enough time hopping through 
kind of the, the high level of what we can do, I think it's time to get our hands dirty. So let's go ahead and hop into the actual software um, and give you a quick tour of what Keep Pro is all about. Um, so as you log into Keep, and let me zoom out here just a little bit, uh, you come to the home screen. And just a quick reminder, Keep is a software that is in the cloud. Anywhere that you have an internet connection, you'll be able to log in to Keep. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is we also have Keep Mobile, which is our mobile app. Um, you can log in and access most of the features that I'm going to be showing off today straight from your phone. So if you need to add somebody to a campaign, check a contact record, an invoice, uh, and you're on the go, that's an important thing to be able to do uh, without logging into a browser. We have our mobile app um, at your fingertips for you as well, right? So quick tour of our uh, menu on the left side here. A home is a dashboard. This is built for you. It gives you kind of a step-by-step -step of what's going on in your app. Um, you can see what appointments and tasks you have due, and then you can kind of see the progression of leads, how many quotes you've sent. Remember, this is a test app. I'm not sending it too many quotes in this app. Um, how many invoices you've sent, how much you've been paid, and then some email stats as well here as well. And there's some actions that you can take from the home screen as well. A contact record um, is really important. It, 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 this is where you can look and see all of the contact details associated to a contact. You can see the history, the activity of the contact. Um, you can see fields stored, so basic fields like name, email, etc. are great, but we also have the ability to store lots more information on every contact. And we have something called custom fields um, where you can actually create fields. So let's say you needed to know the date of the last service. We could create a date of last service field, for example, and then we could save that field and now we can actually store a date of the last service, right? Why would that be valuable? Well, if you have people in the field um, and you want to record the last interaction that you had, we can and run automation based on this date, it's important to start to store custom information, right? And that's just one example. You can do drop down menus, check boxes, et cetera, and store all the information in an organized, searchable way right on the contact record. I'm nerdy about these things. That's exciting to me. I hope some of you find that um, exciting as well from an organiz organization standpoint as well. Um, we also have some additional items here and I'm gonna click through some of them, um, not directly from the, the contact record, but from, from the dashboard, but I just wanted to show you, you have your tagging, you can attach files, you can see what campaigns they're in. You can leave personalized notes. Um, if, if the client uh, has something specific about them that you want to record historically, um, and then what tasks and money uh, is due associated as well to a particular contact. I mentioned we have the messaging area. So the messaging area, very, very cool. Right now it's on iPhone, soon to come on Android. Um, so maybe even by the time you watch this, our, our Android app has been released. Um, but right now you have the ability to, if you have their phone number on staff, create a messaging platform from a different separate business number that Keep provides where you can send text, text messages. Why is this important? Well, it's important to, for a lot of people to separate their business messages and their client messages from their personal number. And being able to message from a computer and from the mobile app that we have is a really helpful way to have your team follow up um, with any inquiries that come in. It's a great number to be able to hand out and say, hey, send us a text if you have any questions and know that your team's eyes will be on it, whether they're on the go from the mobile app or from the desktop right here as well. Um, some other areas that I wanna show you that I just think are so exciting about Keep is the appointment setting features that we have. This allows you to build a, a, a link um, and build different types of appointments. In this case, I have a 30 minute example where you can actually tie this straight into a Google Calendar and mark off the times that they're allowed to book. And when, they, when you send your appointment link out, and you can use this appointment link in lots of different emails, your signature, 
um, when somebody needs you to come on site, whatever type of appointment you need to build, they can schedule a time um, and that gets put right on their calendar, right on your calendar, and you'll be able to trigger automation as well once they book, right? So, hey, you should prepare for a meeting in X, Y, and Z ways. Maybe we need to send an email out. We can absolutely do that um, here uh, inside of Keep Pro as well, right? So that's the appointment setting. Build different types of appointments, and you can automate people choosing a time on your calendar. I don't know about you, but I spend too much of my day saying, what time should we meet? If you fall into that box, this is a really helpful tool for you and or your team uh, who will be using Keep. And then we have the money element. Uh, we do quoting and invoicing here at Keep Pro. Um, it allows you to set up invoices um, and close invoices. Uh, so when you send an invoice to a client, they can actually pay it with a credit card, right? <laughs> uh, so it's a great way to keep track of who owes you money. I love the simplistic interface that we have here. It shows how much you've been paid, how, many, how much is outstanding, and then how much is drafted that you need to send out still uh, to clients as well. So very simple interface. Uh, you, get the, you get the invoice history here as well to see um, who was sent what uh, and what product they were invoice they were sent and so on and so forth. So you can add all your products and services um, inside of this invoicing portal as well. We already talked briefly about broadcasts. Broadcasts are the ability to send one email to a list of people. I'm not going to go into this too much today, but you can create some really nice looking emails from our broadcast builder. Um, I'm going to focus more on the campaign building element, uh, which I'll show you the email builder in there in just a moment. Um, but just know that you can send a broadcast to a, a list of people inside of our software. The sales pipeline, some of you might like um, a lot. I like this because I can track people from stage to stage of my sales process, right? So um, as you're working leads, uh, you can create what we call deals, which are these cards here. And it's a drag and drop process where you can move people into different stages of the sales process, right? Um, and it's as easy as creating the stages that you want. So I can come in here and I can change this to a, a new lead. And then I could say something like needs to be scheduled, right? And then after the job is done, maybe we put them into a job done. Needs payment, right? stage and so on and so forth. I'm just showing you how easy it is to, to create different stages here. And then as your jobs move through the pipeline, you can drag and drop them. And a really cool thing about the pipeline is you can add automation. So when somebody, as sim simple as dragging a deal from the new lead stage into new lead needs to be scheduled, guess what could happen to Kyle? As I drag him and drop him, that can actually trigger an email that says, hey, Choose a time on my calendar to get scheduled, right? And then when he, when he schedules, obviously we would move him into the correct stage after that as well. So I love the visual pipeline. It's a great way to track um, people through a process from stage to stage as well. And finally, we've gotten to campaigns. Campaigns is uh, what I'm really excited about. Um, I wanna show you a couple of different features, um, but this is where really the meat and potatoes of the marketing automation arm of what we can do and where we can save you a lot of time on your processes. And, and this is where we can follow up with your leads um, in an automated way. Um, the, the first thing that I want to show you is smart forms. You can have as many smart forms as you want. What smart forms allow you to do is when you add a contact um, into your database, uh, right up here, you can either add them in a default way or you can use a smart form. I've created a smart form here that's called the new lead follow-up uh, needs, uh, needs scheduling form. And I built this out. It has very basic fields. Here's what the form design looks like. It's very simple to build these out. Um, and I'm asking for a first name, last name, email, and phone number. So if a new lead were to run into you in the field or call into your office and we need to schedule a time with them. Anyone could fill out this smart form with first name, last name, email, and phone number. And that could kick us off um, essentially whatever campaign that we want. I have 
a campaign that I pre-built to show you here, where I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out. So this is a, we're literally using a smart form that I have, uh, that I have built here. We'll use a test contact. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Oh, it doesn't matter, guys, this is a test. <laughs> there we go. And as I save somebody into that smart form, that can actually trigger a campaign. So I'm gonna show you inside of a campaign, we have our uh, out, of, out of the box smart form new lead campaign. And we're gonna hop into that campaign and you can see I just filled out the form. So there's, <laughs> I'm actually in the campaign now. And I'm gonna show you what the build out looks like inside of the campaign. Now, this is a very simple campaign. The concept is an, I need to follow up with a new lead who is interested with me. So I'm going to build out some automation to follow up with them. And so this campaign is two part. We have a goal that says, and let me zoom in a little bit here. We have a goal that says when a smart form is submitted and it asks me which smart form, well, it's gonna be the new lead follow up form that you just saw me submit is submitted, what follow-up do you wanna do? Well, if somebody wants to schedule a time with me, I need to build an email inside of the campaign builder to schedule with me. So a lot of you may be following along and maybe 10 steps ahead of me. This is a simple automation piece, but it's important. Every new lead that comes into my, my, my pipeline or my purview now, I can put into this campaign and they'll get an email automatically that says, hey, it was nice to meet you. I wanna make sure we scope your project for you. Obviously, this is all editable um, inside of the builder. You can change the subject line, add whatever images. This is a very simple email. Um, you can design this however you want um, when it comes to the automation as well, right? So this is, a, this is a very, very simple campaign using smart forms where as you add a contact to your database, um, it can move them along to deliver them to getting scheduled with you as well. Um, we also, have a campaign today um, that we built uh, in regards to this webinar. So maybe you want to do some prospecting or drive someone to a landing page um, inside of a campaign, and that's something that our software does as well. Um, and you can build a landing page right here in the campaign builder. And I already have a landing page here built, um, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to build a landing page. So I just dragged the landing page out. I'm gonna click in. And this landing page builder lets you build uniquely designed opt-in forms that can go on your website. Um, you can run Facebook ads to it um, as well, um, which is a very popular thing to do, right? Like if you're a service provider and you wanna say, hey, 15% off of your next audit or um, carpet cleaning or whatever it is, we can, we can build that using our pre-designed forms here um, and we can drive people uh, to a specific call to action, right? Obviously, um, our landing page builder is very easy to use. It's drag and drop. You can swap out images, text, um, and I just wanna show you the builder uh, as, it, as it looks and, and functions here in this webinar so that you can see, right? So if I need to change, obviously the logos are swappable, you can just click on it, and then you can come in and you can swap out the logo to whatever logo you want. If the text needs to change, you can click and change the text, the coloring, the call to action, et cetera, right? So that's a really cool tool that we have. Um, and when somebody fills out a landing page, obviously we can trigger automation behind that on the back end as well. Um, and that's what we did. For today's webinar so uh let me show you the webinar that we the the lead capture webinar that we built uh for today's webinar obviously you're watching the webinar right now um but if you want to experience um the automation associated to this this is a real life campaign that we're going to use so i think this is pretty neat because not only did we build this to show you an example right now and i'm going to show you the landing page but when you fill it out, you'll actually get to experience the automation associated to it. <laughs> so we've branded our Keep landing page to have out of the box um, and Keep in, in the partnership that we have. Um, if you're interested in learning more about Keep, you can come to this landing page and don't worry, we'll get you this link in just a second. 
um, you can you can click learn more um, and fill out um, the call to action here. And then uh, if you're wondering what what automation happens and how you're going to be followed up with, well, I'm going to show you that here in just a second from a campaign standpoint, right? So right right inside of the follow up from from this campaign, there's an email that's getting sent. This is actually an internal email to a rep on our team named Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan, if you're on the call. Um, and he's going to follow up with you. And we're also tagging you that you came from this webinar as well, right? So these are the types of processes that you can automate. Um, and I encourage you to fill out this form when we release it into the chat um, or in a, a follow-up email that you'll get from out-of-the-box uh, technology. Uh, you can click and fill out this form and experience the, the follow-up that we have here with Jonathan following up with you um, as well. So these are just some quick, simple campaigns. There's lots of other, you'll pro you're probably, uh, some of you are adventurous and you're probably looking at the different um, goals that we have here. There's lots of different ways that we can automate conversations. Um, and I'll highlight a couple of these as we wrap up. When, when, when somebody purchases a service from you, you can trigger automation. When somebody clicks a certain link in a certain email, we can trigger automation. If somebody fails a purchase, we can trigger automation and have a different conversation, right? Um, if somebody visits a certain page on our website, we can trigger different automation and uh, email follow-up as well. These are all really valuable and creative ways that you can engage uh, your prospects and your current customers to have the right conversation at at the right time, right? So um, keep in mind that this is called the, the Campaign Builder. It comes with Keep Pro, um, and it's, it really is a unique way to automate um, your marketing and conversations. So the final thing that I wanna show off um, here uh, before we bring Jennifer back in uh, to close it, close it down is we do have a QuickBooks integration, um, which I'm really, I, I'm really, really excited about. Um, and let's let's hop in and show you that. <clears throat> the QuickBooks integration is a two-way sync. So if I go into my settings, and there's not much to show you here other than clicking on our integrations and showing that we have our QuickBooks Online integration. But essentially what QuickBooks, the QuickBooks Online integration lets you do is it lets you either invoice in QuickBooks Online and have the, the invoice information get passed back up into Keeps software so that you have a history of the invoices that you're invoicing in QuickBooks Online, or you can invoice in Keep and it will pass that invoicing data back downstream, if you will, to QuickBooks and record um, the invoice uh, information there as well. This is really important because a lot of um, marketing folk and sales reps and uh, service providers who use Keep want to see how much money somebody has spent with them, right? So if you're doing your accounting from QuickBooks, we need to make sure that we're passing the necessary information to and fro uh, when it comes to Keep. Um, and this is a two-way integration that syncs invoices that are being opened and closed um, in, in that area, right? So. I don't know, Jennifer, I've gone through a lot of different stuff today. Um, it, it might be like drinking from a fire hose, but I think we can, we've started to see how Keep can solve for some of those pain points um, that, that we started with in the beginning, whether you're disorganized or not following up properly. There's lots of tools here to help you save time uh, and automate your conversations. Um, what, what, what do you think as we wrap up today, Jen? Yeah, Michael, that this is really awesome. I think that not only the pain points that keep solved for, but even I am super impressed with um, the look and feel of the interface. Like when you are dragging contacts from one pipeline stage to the next, like just the ease of use and it just, it looks cool, which makes you want to use it versus something that looks antiquated or you know clunky or whatnot. So kudos to keep for that. Um, and again, just a lot of those, those things that I think everyone deals with. I'm looking at a stack of business cards on my desk right now from the last conference. And, you know, so it's just, it's a really, really great tool that solves for a lot of issues that, um, 
small businesses and really bigger corporations as well, I think, face. So this is really great. I really appreciate um, everything that you've presented to us today. So I'm gonna- Yeah, hold on, Jennifer, I gotta, inter- I gotta interrupt you because yeah. you just said you had a stack of business cards. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You get so I'm, this is going to be impromptu. It's only going to take two minutes, but this is a perfect example of of where you should use a Keep campaign. So one of the tools that we have in the Keep mobile app, you're going to love this, is you can take a picture of a business card, and it will automatically import that business card into your contact database. That's pretty cool. But that's not all. You can also apply a tag, which is a segmentation tool, and add that person to a list, which can trigger a campaign um, as it relates to who the person is that you met, right? So if we were to go into a campaign, and I'm, I told you this is kind of impromptu, but if I were to build the Jennifer business card campaign, I'm going to show you how easy this is. And maybe you'll even want to use this. (laughs) Jennifer business cards. Card follow up. Right. We could we could create a tag. This is going to be your Jennifer business card tag. Right. And every person who you take a picture of their business card will automatically be applied this tag that we create and then you get to decide how you would follow up with them and so i don't want to put you on the spot but what is the type of email that you might send to those business cards as it relates to uh, out of the box marketing would it be something like hey do you want to set up a time to talk more about x y and z Am I getting that right? Or is there something more specific with this group? Yeah, no, typically, um, especially this one is about one of our specific products that we went to an event for. So it it would be exactly that. Let's set up a time to do a quick demo of Recur 360 and see how it'll, you know, streamline your business kind of thing. So awesome. So you so you're probably not going to do an email that's too, too pretty and templated. Obviously, we have lots of templates in here. Yeah. Um, but you would probably just do a personalized email in this case, right? Because it's coming from you. Yep. So so uh, we would come in here and it'd be from Jennifer. I'm not going to use your real email address, but you would type in your real out email address, obviously. And we would say something like, nice to meet you at X event, wherever you gathered those, a card, those cards from, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then you would come in and you would just say, Hey, so and so. We're gonna use. It's gonna merge in their name. Obviously, we have their name from the business card. Um, would you like to set up a time to chat further about? And I'm not gonna finish this email. But the point is, is I'm 90% done with this campaign already, right? And it's been three minutes. Um, so you can come. You would be able to come in, build this out, and maybe offline, you actually want to build this campaign out. <laughs> I'd be happy to help you out with that. Um, but for example sake, um, we literally just created a business card follow-up campaign where you'll be able to take a picture of a business card and get them triggered into this campaign with follow-up. How cool is that? Yeah, that's really awesome. Very, very cool. Thank you for Alrighty. that <laughs> and showing everyone really that was the simplicity of it is really, really awesome because Probably the reason I have this stack of business cards is because I don't have time to type them all out and all that manual data entry. So that's really, really great. Awesome. I'm glad to hear it. Hopefully we can get those cards into your keep yeah, system. Yeah, for sure. Sooner rather than, <laughs> sooner sure. Rather than later. So I know as we wrap, we wrap today, we, we, we want to direct the attention to people that might be interested in talking more about this Yeah. Um, with someone. So we have our uh, landing page that we built, which we showed off um, as an example there just a second ago. Um, I know we can chat that into the GoTo, for the people that are here, we can chat that into the GoToMeeting chat, uh, yep. but just get, talk to us a little bit about if somebody wants to raise their hand and, and have a further conversation, what the next steps are. Yeah, so I put that, um, that link right there so everyone can kind of check that out. And if this is something that, you know, you're watching it and you're like me, you're like, oh my gosh, I 
have to get on board here. This is just really great. Or maybe you still have more questions and, and want a little bit deeper of a dive. Um, definitely reach out to I to me, really, and then I can kind of put you in, in touch with a personalized sales rep over at Keep um, that we've paired up with because this relationship, you know, we're just we're really um, kicking it off here with this with this introductory demo here um, and just get everyone in sync with with Keep. And if you need help with the integrations between Keep and QuickBooks Online, our consultants can help with that as well. Um, so, you know, it's really just a nice collaborative relationship that I think we're building here. So definitely reach out to us. Um, one question that I did have, I know, Michael, that you mentioned about the integration with QuickBooks Online. Does it integrate uh -huh. with QuickBooks Desktop as well or just online at this point? Right now, just QuickBooks Online. Yeah. Okay. So you do need the online version of QuickBooks uh, to use the integration. That doesn't mean, uh, obviously, that people people use keep in conjunction with the desktop version there's just not going to be any syncing between invoices and there's a little sure. bit more of a ma manual cleanup associated sure. to that absolutely thanks for clarifying that um because i know that would be a question for a lot of people as they continue to explore this the software so um yeah so that's pretty much it i uh like i said i chatted over that link to this form that or this page that you're sharing here and then um, it'll come out in an email as well um, so the folks that are watching can can click that and explore how that campaign looks and the steps that your clients would go through should you go ahead and set this up for you know your own business and your own um, follow up and campaigns and all of that. So very Great. cool. Well, thank you for the opportunity to explore uh, some pain points of small business and also some some. I guess you would say some relief points as well with some of the automation that we showed off today. Um, and uh, I look forward to continuing our partnership. Um, uh, and Jennifer, you have a good rest of your day and thanks to everyone who was able to make it and join us. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate your time, Michael, and the team over there at Keep, we do appreciate it. Um, and again, if anyone has any further questions or wanted to you know, look a little bit deeper into this, I'm gonna share my screen with my contact information as well. Again, a little glimpse at that landing page for um, our relationship with Keep. And look for an email following up. It'll have a copy of the recording of this presentation as well as that link again that you can click on and follow. So thanks everyone for joining. Michael, thank you. And we'll see you all again soon.